Hey guys, um, welcome back to another video. I enjoy doing this look. If you want to see whether or not this makeup is worthy enough to wear on my wedding day, which will be like six days from when you're watching it um, or whenever I post this video, then keep on watching. Hey guys, we are just going to jump right in. I am going to try to just focus on the Fenty Beauty things because these are the products that I really want to use on my wedding day if this turns out pretty good. We are going to do the Fenty foundation, we're going to do the Fenty Beauty concealer, and we're going to try her lip gloss and then a highlighter. And then the only thing that's not Fenty is the translucent powder. I'm going to try the Laura Mercier one, and then I'm going to try this as my primer. Remember using this several years ago and I really loved it so I'm gonna test it out with these other products just because if this really does work how it did before then I really want to use this on my wedding day because it really just like holds everything in place and it doesn't move so I'm just gonna focus on these products and then we're gonna go from there here's the foundation for those of you I got the shade 300. You can tell my face is a little bit lighter than my skin because I just um, self tanned at home. Um, I did a lighter shade on my face, but because I wash my face every day, you know, and I feel like it probably does lighten up um, faster than the rest of my body. Okay, so as soon as you open it, um, the little paper says shake well. So I'm gonna shake and um, I'm super excited to use this. I have a brand new unused fresh clean beauty blender and we're about to go in. Um, I'm not covering my spots just yet because I want to see how good um, this covers up. I think I'm just going to apply it straight to my face. I don't want, I don't like applying it straight on the beauty blender. But I don't know how much I'm going to need. So there's two pumps. Y'all, yeah. this is foundation and this is also no foundation. Now, I think this color is really great with my self tan. I think it looks really good. I mean, obviously over here I have my bright, like these are scars. This is kind of like a little scab I had, um, but all this right here is scarred. And yeah, like you can see the difference. Like obviously the foundation is dark compared to my face, but because of my tan, it looks really good. Oh no. I forgot to apply the primer, so I guess I'll just apply the primer on this side and then we'll really be able to see if I want to use this or not on actual wedding day. It's not a It's a mattifying primer. It says shine controlling pore minimizing hydrate hydrating feel soothes skin. I don't know how something can make your skin matte, but like make you feel hydrated. All right, and there's this side done. Now this side does not have the primer and this side has the primer. Um, and honestly, so far, the foundation is really good. Like I can tell it's really nice, but this side really does look a little bit more smoother and like pore filling. It says pore minimizing on here and it's smooth skin. And I do see like smoothing. Look, this side still looks really good, but this side is just a little bit smoother and like smaller pore looking compared to this side. Now, I do want to point out that I need to exfoliate my skin. I need to shave my face again because I have too much peach fuzz that has grown back. Um, I have I need to clean up my eyebrows, like I need to tweeze them. My nose has been so bad with like whiteheads and blackheads and I don't know what's going on with that because my nose used to not be this bad. So the fact that this makeup looks good considering the condition that my skin is in, that's pretty impressive. So I can only like assume that this would even look better once my face is actually fresh and cleaned and shaved and taken care of. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Concealer. 
All right, I got this shade 300 as well. So I got it open. Now this did not say shake well, like on the packaging, like the foundation did. Um, so I'm not gonna bother. This is what it looks like. This is super nice. This, this concealer is made for this foundation. They're both the shade 300, but this is made to be just a little bit lighter or like brighter for this foundation. I love these types of applicators and we're just going to go in. It tells me how much to put. So I'm just going to do like one dip and then dip it in. It's like, can you see the line now? I don't know, like it kind of looks weird. Like I can tell the concealer has stopped right here and I can't get it to blend anymore. But let's do this other side and see how that looks. I feel like this side blended a little bit better. I don't see like this line right here. I don't see that over here. So far, everything to me looks really good. I think the combo, like the color the combo of the colors looks really good. It like you can tell I'm a little bit brighter than I am the rest of my face, but it's like not too much. I think she did really good with that part. We are going to go in with the um, La Mercier powder. All right, for those of you who have never seen one, um, this is what she looks like. Super nice, fancy feeling. Um, here's the um, inside and it has a little sticker. I'm gonna take it off real quick. It is off. Now I'm just gonna put some in the cap. Okay, there it is. It actually looks like it has a tiny hint of yellow in it, which I'm not mad at. I think that's really good for my type of skin. This feels like way more finely milled than the airspun I use. So that feels really nice. My face looks so smooth, so blurred. Uh, this is gonna look so good for when I actually shave my face and like do all that good stuff. Kind of stuck though on whether or not I should put this all over my face or if I should use my other colored um, powder. Okay, so I have the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade Light Medium, number 20. Now that I did self tan, this is just like a tiny bit too light compared to like my tan. I'm just gonna use this on one side. I'm gonna use it on this side and then I will use the Laura Mercier one all over my face. I'm gonna use the bottom half for the Maybelline powder. Okay, so I have the Maybelline set over here. I'm gonna use um, the Lara one on the rest of my face on this side. Both sides set. Now, I'm starting to notice with the powders on, my color is changing just a little bit compared to like my self tanner. But I mean, with some bronzer and stuff, I think it'll be fine. And once I set it and melt everything together, I'm hoping it'll look a little bit better. Um, it really doesn't look that bad in person, but like on camera, I feel like I still see the color difference. Like I feel like now this is too light for the rest of my body. But 
since the next thing I'm going to try out by Fenty Beauty is the highlighter and lip gloss, I'm going to do the rest of my other makeup stuff and I will be right back. So this is the perfect size lip gloss for me because I don't really use stuff on my lips too much, but when I do want something, I feel like this is a good size. Um, and this is super pretty. Cute little highlighter. There's the name on the back. This is what it looks like. I'm going to open it. Oops. Okay, so I had this little plastic cover and it just slid right out. This is gorgeous. Um, hello. <laughs> um, I don't want to mess it up, but I want to swatch it first. Puts it on my finger. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay, so I'm just going in with my Wet n Wild highlighting brush. I'm going to go in. I'm going with a really light hand here because I don't know how this works just yet. That looks really pretty. So I'm going to add some more. This is so pretty. Uh, I feel like from the front it looks really subtle but like it's there and then like boom you turn to the side it kind of looks natural but like okay it doesn't look na like natural skin but like it, it i don't know it's just like the perfect amount of highlight i think and i think for like wedding makeup you don't want to like overdo it but like you want something there that's still like very classy and like pretty looking i guess and i feel like this does that I put my eyelashes on, I eyebrow gelled my eyebrows, um, I have black liner and I kind of smudged it a little bit. I don't ever put black liner um, on my lower lash line because I feel like it makes my eyes look smaller, but for some reason I was feeling it today. I feel like it's just kind of harsh, like, I don't know, but that's just me. I am going to spray my face and then add some more highlight and see what that does. Are you kidding me right now? And I'm like barely putting any on the brush, y'all. I mean, I need to blend it in a little bit better, but. And this looks so good. I feel like a little donut. Oh, the lip gloss. First time opening it. Oh my God, this smells so good. Looks really sticky though. There's the lip gloss on. This is probably the most luxurious lip gloss I have ever in my life put on my lips. I feel like it's pretty thick. And I only did one little, like the first time I took it out, that's just what I used on there. I even took a little bit off. Um, as far as like sticky goes though, like, yeah, your hair is gonna like stick to it. Um, Cause I know that like, like, like little, 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 my gosh. That's just like one of the most annoying things. Like when you have lip gloss on, your hair is down or something, and then like your hair just kind of gets stuck. But I wouldn't care with the lip gloss on. It literally looks like my lips, but better and like wet. I'll take y'all in like the uh, regular light, like the sun, um, to show you guys what my face looks like. If I plan to wear this stuff for my wedding day, I have to keep in mind that like, I'm gonna have to wear this makeup for a very long time. I have to be out in the heat in this to take pictures. Now the ceremony and the reception is all inside, thank goodness. But even though we are inside and I'm sure the air will be on, um, there will be some activities and dancing and I know I'm gonna be sweating up a storm. So I really hope this makeup holds up. Um, I will do check-ins with you guys and let you guys know how it goes. Okay, guys, I sprayed my face um, with my Mario spray to set it. I literally can't believe how good my makeup looks right now. I mean, I'm so glad my face has cleared up. I mean, besides my scars, 
my bumps have gone down tremendously and oh my god this looks so good i don't want to like speak too soon because hopefully like it stays in place or it doesn't break up anywhere but for how bad my pores are without my makeup on like usually putting makeup on over like nasty skin just kind of makes it look worse but this makeup, I would assume the foundation is what's making my skin look really, really good. Um, now this is the side with the Rimmel primer and then this side doesn't have anything. I will do a, another check on, blah, blah, blah. I will do a, another check in um, later today. Okay guys, so I think I'm done testing it out for today. I'm about to take a shower. My lips look really pink for some reason. I don't know why, there's nothing on my lips. Obviously the lip gloss has been worn off. Everything else is in place. Literally nothing has moved. Both sides to me look really good. This side has the primer and this side does not. I like the primer side just like a hair more just because Overall, this side looks more pore filling and like smooth like compared to this side, but it's really, really close. Um, but I figured I'd probably use this anyways because if it's mattifying and let's say I like get sweaty from dancing on it wrong and just being in the sun or whatever, I feel like the primer would come in handy. I've heard so many good things about this foundation and now that I've actually tried it out for myself, I really believe all the hype behind Fenty Beauty. I think this is a great beauty line as far as the things I've tried out from her line. I may or may not like give it a trial run again before the wedding, but like I said, when you see this video um, or whenever I post this video, it'll be six days until the wedding and I will be very busy those six days leading up to that day. So, and I have a bunch of other things to get done. But anyways, I love this foundation. I love the way it's wearing so far and I really think it'll be great on my special day if you made it this far into the video i appreciate you and thank you so much if you like this video give me a thumbs up i will see you guys in my next one Bye.